we have worshipped. Amen. Amen. While we're standing, we go straight to God's word. Judges chapter, uh, Hebrews rather, 11.32. Sorry about that. Hebrews 11.32 to 34. We're wrapping up on our series as God will help us today. Hallelujah. Can we read together from um, the screen? One to go. And what sh shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah and of David also of Samuel and of the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of the lions, quenched the violence of fire and escaped the edge of the sword out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in flight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. And then um, Mark 9.23. Can you bring down this? Uh, the general section that we read. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mark 9.23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Hallelujah. Somebody say, all things are possible. Sit down, let me bring you God's word. Hallelujah. Including that thing that looks like an obstacle in your life. It is possible to achieve in the name of Jesus. Including what they have denied you before now. It is possible to get in the name of Jesus. What others say they have tried and they did not get. It is possible for you to get in the name of Jesus. We have been, you know, God has helped us. We have been dealing on the matter of faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today, I'd like us to x-ray the lives of the people a little bit. We'll pick a few of them and look into their lives. What is it that God is talking about? He said, time, we fail me to talk about Gideon, to talk about Barak, to talk about uh, Samson, to talk about Jephthah. To, we'll pick like three of them and x-ray their life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And we begin to see what God did through them. He said, through faith, these men, they did extraordinary things. You are going to enter the history book in the name of Jesus. Everyone believing God for a mega breakthrough. This service is for you. If you are just looking for a way to eat, then this is not your service. Look for somewhere else. If you are asking God to make you a sign and a wonder to your generation, then this service is for you. I came to speak into your life. God will make you a sign and a wonder. I said God will make you a sign and a wonder to your generation. In the name of Jesus. What others have not been able to achieve, I decree you will achieve them cheaply. I say you will achieve them cheaply. I say you will achieve them cheaply. I say you will achieve them cheaply. In the name of Jesus. Hebrews 11.32 uh, What shall I more say? He said, time will fail me. Time will fail me to talk about this man. Hallelujah. This man, they were ordinary men, but with extraordinary impact. They get hungry like you. They eat like you. They also sleep. They use the bathroom too. But their life is measured. It's a time we fail. God said, time we fail to talk about them. You will become a sign and a wonder. There is a level you get to that when you eat, people are surprising. Do you also eat? Hallelujah. There is a level you rise in life and people look at you. This one, are they using the bathroom too? They use the bathroom. It is greatness. Somebody is bound to be great in this house. God will lift you after this meeting. I said, God will make you a sign and a wonder. I don't know what others have pictured from a distance and say it's impossible. In your life, all things are possible. I remember our sister giving testimony. She was rushing. She was rushing. <laughs> In her Thanksgiving. When she came, she said, they said, Oh, to become a nurse, you have to do how many years program? She was a nurse already in Africa. You have to go through a process. All her friends, she has about 10 friends who came. They, say they also have nursing degree, but they cannot practice. I said, that is their story. It's not your story. Uh, no, the thing is that I said, don't explain. Explanation can make me get second thought. I know the God we serve. That is why it's good when you are working in God has shown me what is happening. So you don't come and tell me, bring me your own belief. Don't bring your unbelief on my belief. My belief is stronger than your unbelief. Am I communicating here? I said, if I be a man of God, before the end of this month, you will walk as a nurse. Uh, she was told, she didn't answer amen first. I said, I just prayed. He said, but Papa, I wanted to explain to you that, oh, they say I have to go to Houston to translate. I said, who is talking to you? 
are you a doctor of this commission? And in less than how many hours she called back? Oh, something changed. The next day she called again. Uh, this one changed. In less than a week, everything was authenticated. She is a registered nurse. She did not go through that four years. You abandoned master degree in something else, even in nursing, and went back to school here. You lack grace. There is a God who is an impossibility specialist. He said with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. These men were ordinary men, extraordinary impact. I don't know what your story is. They give you a timeline. They say you have to stay here five years. You have to do this, you have to do that. In this church, we have people who came here in less than six months. They filed asylum. Now their family is here. They, they, everything was done. They gave, they gave them document in less than six months. When you come into the right place, the right things happen to you. When you connect to the right people, the right things follow you. Am I communicating here? I came with an audacious audacity. You shall become a sign and a wonder to your family. After now, people will suspect you. Then we ask you, where did you enter? Because the God we serve, we begin to break protocol for your sake. War took others 10 years and they never got it. You are getting them this year. I say you are getting them this year. I say you are getting them this year. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shada Bakaba. The first person I want us to look at, the first thing I want to say about the people, let's say the first thing about them, is that they all had weaknesses. They all had weaknesses. That's number one. They had disadvantages. They had shortcomings. I was asking God, I said, Lord, should I end this series? He said, no, you are not done. You have already been calling the people's name. What is about them? You have told the people. He said, tell them this man were like them. Don't tell me your problem. Oh, here, I don't have no family. I don't have father. I don't have mother. Me too, I don't have father and mother here. Am I communicating to somebody here? It's not you alone. Don't tell me. Nobody is there to help me. Listen, we have a helper that is bigger than every other helper. They had weaknesses. They had shortcomings. Let's actually the first person that he mentioned, Barak. I will just, I mean, um, Gideon. The first person, the first character. Just put a Roman one. Hallelujah. Gideon. Who was Gideon? In Judges chapter 6. If you begin to read Judges 6 from verse 1, the Bible said the children of Israel did evil in the sight of God. God handed them over to their enemy who oppressed them seven years. They were eating and hiding. They were doing everything. They were hiding. A man called Gideon. He was hiding at the wine press. And the Bible said Israel was greatly impoverished. I think verse 4, 5, and 6. Because of the hand of the Midianites. Gideon, everything he does, he will hide to eat, hide to do everything. And an angel met him in his hiding place. He said, thou mighty man of valor. He said, who will be mighty man? In verse 15, Gideon said, of Judges 6, he said, my family is the poorest in the tribe of Manasseh. Manasseh is not even a son of Israel. He's a grandchild. Hallelujah. And he's still saying that even though we are the least, he said, even my family is still the poorest in Manasseh. He said, I am the last born also. Hallelujah. Do you think you have weakness? People have it. People have checked. Father said nobody can help. Mother said nobody can help. And they said, that is why I can't go far in life. Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? If I tell you, then that is how it will be. If they tell you this is how you will end, I say, that's not true. Who told you that? He said, I am the, the smallest. I am the least in my father's house. My father's house is the poorest in my village. We have nothing. And no wonder hardship is following you because that is the mindset. I want that mindset to change. A child of God is royalty. A child of God is royalty. The day you surrender to Jesus, you subscribe to a new family. The day you gave yourself to him, you entered a new family. And the day you walked into this church, somebody took your problem. And I came to tell you, that thing you saw as a limitation is not a limitation. It's a ground for rising. It's a ground for testimony. Listen to me, child of God. God is not looking for the qualified. He's looking for the unqualified. If he picks a qualified person, they will be too arrogant. 
because I went to school, I have a PhD. My, you see their language, when they speak, they speak like um, they are coming from the queen's family, from the from, from royal house in England. When they speak, those kind of people, one dot anointing cannot be there. God picks the unqualified and qualifies. Gideon gave his class. He said, I am a nobody. God is specialized in turning nobodies to somebodies. Am I talking to somebody here? I don't know how you have been thinking before now. There is about to be a shift in your life. God is taking you from the back side to put you to the front side. In the name of Jesus. When you encounter God's word, the angel said, go in this direction. <laughs> Gideon was explaining how little and nobody he was. And the angel looked at him and laughed. He said, go in this direction. There is strength. There is power. You can't hear God's word and remain the same. That is what we just prayed. Hallelujah. He said, so shall my word be. That goeth for out of my mouth. He shall not return void. He fulfills his purpose. Whether it was through an angel. Whether it was through the Bible. Whether it's through his prophet. When God's word meets you, it changes your life. I came to change your life. Today, your life will turn out for good. I say, God is changing your life for good. In the name of Jesus. In John 1, 1, he said, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. You can't take God out of the word. When his word comes, you have encountered God. Am I communicating here? I say, God will transform your life. They all had witness. We have seen that of Barak. Let's go to the next, uh, Gideon rather. Let's go to Barak. In Judges chapter 4, verse 6 to 9. There was, it was another time that the children of Israel were passing through terrible situation. The Bible said someone was oppressed, oppressed them 20 years. They were in 20 year oppression. But somebody came and put an end to it. There was a woman of God called Deborah. Deborah called the, uh, Barak. He said, God is saying that you should go out. And this man that is terrorizing, oppressing the people, go and bring him down. He said, woman of God, if you don't come, I can't go. Hallelujah. Why did he say that? He knew that he has lost before. He knew that he's not as strong as the man. Why? These people, the Canaanites, they had 900 chariots. It's like your village want to fight America. With all their missiles. The man said, since God spoke to you, come and we will go. Hallelujah. 900 chariots. In their days, chariots were like jets. Like war jets. How can foot soldiers fight people with chariots? Because the horses are running with them. Anything they have, they whip you, you are down. Even if they don't have anything, they have their hand, they catch you, put you on their chariot and run away with you. Ten of them can pounce on you. They had 900 chariots. Israel were walking on foot. The man said, you God gave the word, come with me. He also had a weakness. But at the end, there was a victory. At the end, the Bible said, God used the same man. Destroyed all the soldiers of these people. Not one ran. Only their captain, Cicera. Cicera ran and a woman killed Cicera. She took a temple peg and drove it through his head. When God has spoken victory, your background is not enough to stop you. Your background, your foundation, whatever you saw before now is history. There is a future God has for you. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. I came to speak into somebody's life. Your story shall not be the story of every other person in the family. I don't know who died before their time. You shall live. I don't know who cancer killed. You shall live. I don't know who died in poverty. You shall live. Maybe your family. Nobody has ever come to this land. I decree from you. Greatness will spring forth. In the name of Jesus. Hey, 20 years oppression came to an end one day because somebody's mindset changed. When you encounter the world, there is a character, there's an attitude to the world. When you hear God's word, let it permeate your life. Don't resist. There are some people, no matter what you say to them, they still want to tell you their problem. What do you need, solution or you want the problem? Hallelujah. I came here with solution. And the same problem that followed you here is not going back with you. What has been a threat to your life and destiny is not going back with you. I decree after now, there shall be celebration in families. I decree fruitfulness. I decree prosperity. I decree the end to affliction in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, Koda Balata. The third person, Jephthah. In Judges 11 from verse 1. 
The Bible said Jephthah was a Adabalata. He was a mighty man of valor. But his mother was a harlot. Oh, you don't understand that. Now Jephthah the Gilead was a mighty man of valor. And he was the son of an harlot. And Gilead begat Jephthah. His father was a great man. The mother was a harlot. And he would have taken the father's name to cover his shame. You go to the next verse. The brother said, you are a child of a harlot. The stepbrothers look at him. Say, you are the child of... His angular's wife bear him sons. And his wife's sons grew up. And they thrust out Jephthah. He was the senior. But the senior had no respect because the mother was a harlot. And they used it. It didn't end that as, a, as a provocation in the family. They used it as a point to make him not have an inheritance. They sent him out in the family. A man with this kind of background. And yet, he's in the story of time. We fail to talk about it. What is your question? What is the problem? What is your limitation? What is stopping you? Who is telling you you can't do it? Who is telling you you can't make it? Who is telling you you can't progress? Who is telling you you can't live? I came to counter that report. Whatever they have said over your life, I stand there as a mouthpiece of Yahweh. I decree that you will break that record. I say 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 you will break that record. In the name of Jesus. On the number one place. Hallelujah. Thank you, my father. We looked at people, three men, all of them, their life. No, that's too last. Hallelujah. Three men, their life had negativity. Their life had challenges, but yet they became great. What is your own challenge? What voice are you hearing telling you that you can't become? Who is telling you that you cannot come out of that situation where you are? I can tell you categorically, ten people can be here, six. It is the mind that we approach God's word. That's what we guarantee how we live here. The same word that is spoken, he fell on good ground. Some fell on stony soil. And the Bible said, he said, the seed is the word. A sower went out. In Mark chapter 4 verse 14, the Bible said, the seed is the word. He went out, he sowed seed. Some fell on good ground, some fell on stony ground. There is some, there are some people, their heart, you, can, you need hammer to crack it. For them to open up to hear God's word. After the word is preached, they maintain their speech. When the word is preached, change your speech. Am I communicating here? I am a child of God. I can't die like others. I am a child of destiny. I can't be consumed like others. I am a child of God. No matter the report of the doctors, I will get the report of God. I believe in God's report. I don't believe in the report of man. They said in this family, nobody marries. Say, me, I will marry. In this family, nobody has children. Me, I will bear children. In this family, when you get to a certain age, you die. Say, me, I will break that record and create a new one. Am I communicating here? You can enter the books of record. Churches, the man, the mother was a harlot. The foundation of a king is the heartbeat of Africa. If you build the foundation wrongly for this house, this house will break. But with God, he can change foundation. Do you know if this foundation is faulty, they will break this house. But God can repair your foundation without breaking it. Is somebody hearing me at all? If you allow him, it will pass through every part of your house. It will enter your family. The errors that were created by your grandfather, by saving Juju, by whatever thing they did, by speaking ill of God. When you open up to him, he will enter your father's house. Enter your mother's house. Correct the error. I came to prophesy. Errors in your life shall be corrected. I say every error in your family shall be corrected. In the name of Jesus. The fourth man before I proceed is David. Hallelujah. David, he was the least in his father's house. If you read 1 Samuel chapter 16. The Bible said God sent the prophet Samuel. He said go to the house of Jesse. Anoint me a king. And they started coming in a line from the first son, which is Eliab, from verse 6. 
Where well, Elias stood before the prophet, he said, How? Oh. He said, The Lord's anointed is standing before me. First Samuel 16, 6. Hallelujah. He said, The Lord's anointed stands before me. And God said, Don't look at this countenance. I've rejected it. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Elias and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before me. Hallelujah. The next verse. And God said, I have rejected him. Don't look at that muscle he has. The qualifications we are seeing that people are better is what God, God has rejected it already. He said, but the Lord said unto him, look not on his countenance. Can you bring down the, the, the general? Hallelujah. He said, but look not, the Lord said, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. He was a tall, huge man. He looked like a king. He said, but I have rejected him. He said, you are looking outward, but I look inward. Hallelujah. You look outward, but I look inward. Praise the Lord. God rejected them in a row. Can you continue? Praise the Lord. And when David showed up, he said, he did for everybody. He tried to anoint this one. God said, no. And he went through everybody and he asked, is, there, is this all of your children? And they said, there is one. Hallelujah. The least, the one that is not supposed to be in this meeting. Hallelujah. Everyone else is qualified because of their height. This one is too short. I'm ashamed to say that he's my son. Because I'm tall. I don't know where the mother brought him from. I am tall. He's short. The disqualified is God's qualified. The ones that the world reject, trust me, if you're wise, the people everybody speak negative of, try to listen to them. Some of them, it's their word, it's their faith, it's their ambition, it's their vision, it's what they are seeing, it's what they profess that has made people to hate them. It's not because they are bad. Everyone came except David. Verse 11. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, the Lord had not chosen this. Continue. Verse 11. And Samuel said unto Jesse, I hear all thy children. And he said, there remained yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. In other words, he is a ganako. I don't know how they call shepherds in your local language. That's how we call it in Cameroon. Ganako. I don't know how you call it. He's not degrading. He's a bushman. He's always in the bush. Since he loved to play with goats and sheep, so we decided for him to take care of goats and sheep. He, they, 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 he said he's young, but he's useless. And the prophet said, we shall not sit until he comes. God is making you a VIP. I don't know what made others to look at you down. God has seen you that they dumped you. And God said, I should tell you, he's making you a VIP. They will not sit until you come. They will not talk until you come. Until you show up, none shall speak. I came to speak into your life. There shall be a transformation in your life. You are coming from the back to the front. You are coming from nobody to somebody. If you believe it shall fire. If you believe it shall fire, fire. Hey. He said we shall not sit until we come. We will not sit. The one you people call the least. Is the last of all. Is the youngest of all. Is a bushman. Is a bushman. He takes care of animals. That is the one God said. This one is the one I want to elevate. I don't know what you are seeing as a weakness. God is seeing as a potential. He said, "This one, if I bless you, people will know where you are coming from." There are people when they want to give their testimony. Oh, you know, my father was a king. My mother is a queen. Uh, I came from a royal family. No, God is looking for people. I was nobody. And I encountered grace. And my life turned around. That shall be your testimony. I said that will be your testimony. I said that will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus. There are people they are too pompous and proud and arrogant. That is why God has kept them where they are. That is why God wants you to see the world. Child of God, when you see the world, it's not a time to run away. It's a time to seek the mind of God. It's a time to see the mind of God. God, we allow you to go through things so when you come out, you know that God brought you out. God, we allow you when the enemy took you and you say, oh, it is over. And God said, look on him. If it is over with man, it's not over with God. I came to pull someone out of that situation. I say, you are coming out by fire. I say, you are coming out by fire. I say, you are coming out by fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Takubale Dadasha. David, Kabadasha. When the Philistine came, nobody could stand against David. 
you had a dream. God is letting you go through things now. So that you will use those things to glorify him. Somebody did not hear that. When the family of Jephthah, when they sent him out, he went and he, the Bible said, vain men gathered unto him. From verse 3 of Judges 11. Vain men gathered unto him and they began to war. God was training him as a soldier. God was raising him up a captain. Because on his return, he became the captain and he trusted Israel for many years. Ma, don't throw away the experiences you are passing through. Don't, let, don't even let the experiences kill your faith. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup overflow. Your cup shall overflow. I say your cup shall overflow in the name of Jesus. The first thing we said, they all had weakness. Number two, their weaknesses did not stop them from being victorious. Hallelujah. They all had witnesses, but number two, their witnesses did not stop them from getting victory in life. Who is telling you that you will end up like this? Who is saying that no answers will come? Who is telling you that that infirmity will kill you? It's not from God. It cannot kill you. Am I communicating here? Who is saying that you will die a pauper? Who is saying that you will die in poverty? They have lied because God's word is yea and amen. As he's spoken, whatever God has said is able to bring it to pass. The Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of a man that he should repent. As he said it, will he not make it good? God will transform your life this year. I said God will change your life this year. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shaka Bahata. The witnesses could not stop them. Every one of them, the ordinary man, like you and I. James chapter 5 and verse 17. The Bible said, can you give us that in Abraham? Elijah was a man with nature like ours. Yet he prayed earnestly. Hallelujah. He was a man with nature like ours. Yet he changed not just natural things. Not just it changed things, the course of life. Everybody knows that when it's rainy, there is rainy season, there is it's like somebody spoke just speaks this year that no snow in America for three years. When you say it, even some pastors will criticize you. In fact, the people that will insult you first say your head is not okay. They are pastors and prophets. And those are the ones everybody will be joining. Yes, yes, he's a madman, he's a crazy man. It is possible. When you are saying what you say, it depends on where you stand to say what you are saying. It depends on where you are standing to say what you are saying. If somebody that is walking on the water say, come on the water, don't be afraid. If someone that is walking on the water tells you, you can walk on the water, then you can walk on the water. Am I communicating here? Your life shall be a sign and a wonder. I say your life shall be a sign and a wonder. Only if we can change that mindset. Don't allow your background put your back to the ground. Don't allow where you are coming from to hold you, to stop you from entering to your destiny. There is a place you are coming from, child of God. We all have a place we are coming from. You are not going back there. There is a future for you. There is a family. There is a story you are born into. When you were born in that family, there were no bodies in that family. And God says, I should tell you that you will not end up like others before you. He said, you are about to create a new record. That if it tarries, your children will be greater. I say, your children will be greater. Your seed shall be greater. In the name of Jesus. They all were men like you and I. The time we fail. Time will fail me to talk about them. They have weakness like you. They eat like you. They do everything just like you and I. But they were great. They broke records. They did things that only befitting for the gods. Hallelujah. They, they did things here on earth that are recorded. 
Things that ordinary men could not do. You can rise to a stage to an extraordinary person. Hallelujah. Am I communicating here? God will fight for you. I say God will fight for you. I say God will defend you. In the name of Jesus. It's a time we fail me. These men, they did great things. Hallelujah. Through faith, they subdued kingdom. There are kingdoms fighting your rising. There is a witchcraft kingdom that is opposing what you are doing. You do everything well. You wake up in the morning, it's bad. A kingdom arose against you. You went to bed healthy. You woke up one part broken. There is a kingdom that is against you. There is witchcraft kingdom. There is marine kingdom. When they come against a person, they try to tear down everything you have put together. People work hard in life to go back home with bags, with holes. Go back home. You want to change bank account. Not, you don't know what happened. No trace, but there is no money. People are working so hard and things are not working for them. They don't understand what is happening. How do you explain to me that you are a doctor, you are a nurse, taking care of other people, you go back home now, you become the one they have to take care of. There is a kingdom that is against you. But thank God, we don't serve a God that submits to them. We serve a God that when he speaks, it comes to pass. It said, O Tanama Kasha Namataya, God will defend you in the name of Jesus. They, he said, they subdued kingdom. They wrought righteousness. Who is looking at you and say that this is the end of you? Who has looked at your past? Or maybe your father failed and they say you will fail. Maybe your mother failed, they say you will fail. One of the reasons why God will definitely stand with you is that you are coming from a weak place. If you identify with him, he will defend you. God is not looking for strong men. God is not looking for qualified men. He's looking for people that will look unto him. God is not looking for people who are mighty and great. He's not looking for the people that know too much. Yeah. Glory to Jesus. God is not looking for qualified people. He's looking for people that will look up to him. He's not looking for people that will give us their pedigree. That will tell us how qualified they are to be used by God. You are not qualified. We are not qualified. Hallelujah. You are not qualified. I am not qualified. God wants us to depend on, as you look unto him, you will not see shame. Psalm 34 verse 5. He said they look unto him and their faces were radiant. They were not ashamed. You cannot see shame this year. I don't know the shame you saw before now. As your eyes are on him, it doesn't matter the weakness in your life. God will lift you out of shame. I said God will bring your family out of shame in the name of Jesus. The third thing about them is that they had love for God. The first, they had weaknesses. They had shortcomings. They had disadvantages. The second is that they did what? No, no, no. This is number three. What's the second point? Their weaknesses did not stop them. So they didn't allow their background to put their back on the ground. Hallelujah. And the, th the third one, they had love for God. Hallelujah. Remember, we have been talking about faith all this while. Hallelujah. We have been talking about faith all this while. I want us to understand something about faith. The highest growth, when your faith gets to maturity, it turns to love. Hallelujah. Faith is the, is the elementary school of spirituality. So, how we get born again by faith. If you, are not, you don't have faith, you, you are not saved. You are who you are. It is by faith that transformation comes. Is that so? Romans chapter 10 verse, 10, verse 10. He said, how do we get born again? How do we, by, as we believe, that's how we are changed into his children. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. Faith, hallelujah. Our belief gives us the place of godliness, which is righteousness. Hallelujah. He said, with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Praise the Lord. It is by faith that we get everything we get in this kingdom. How do we keep it going? There is another level. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13, 13. It says, now abide the three. Faith, hope, and charity. It says, but the greatest of all is charity. Can you give us ATSB? Which is love. Hallelujah. Now these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. Hallelujah. In your walk with God, I say beginning from salvation, nothing happens without faith. Am I communicating here? 
And you can't love God if you don't have faith. You cannot have hope if you don't have faith. So the elementary stage of our work with God, what we desire, what we need, what we require is faith. When you believe that, that prayer you pray, Father, have mercy on me. And today I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I'm saved. From that day, you become a child of God. You believe in your heart that you have become a child of God. Hallelujah. And the next step is hope. What is hope? When we are praying, Lord, do this for me. Give me that desire. Give me, you are praying, you need a house, you need a car, you need this, you need children. And then it has not come. You are praying, say, ah, Lord, this year. You write as your prayer form for the year. That year passes, it has not come. When it gets to a point, you say, even if God doesn't do it this year, he will still do it. That is hope. Your faith has grown from, ah, God didn't do it. I said God should do it this year. Now we are in December 31st. And some people will break down from there. They have not grown past faith level. They are still at the level of faith. They need to grow to the level of hope. So faith has big brothers. The next big brother of faith is what? Hope. And then the final one, the biggest of all is what? Love. So what is love? When you get to the place that you say, whether God does it or not, I will serve him. At that time, the devil gives up on your matter. Am I communicating here? At that time, the devil said, this one does spoil. We can't do anything with them. We have, there's this fruit, local fruit in our, in Cameroon, is plum. If you put it in very hot water, it gets to a stage, we call it in a dialect, say, <laughs> you know, a state where something gets to that, you cook it and cook it, it doesn't get ready anymore. I don't know how you call it in your dialect. That, we say, <laughs> when the devil looks at you and says, this one cannot be cooked anymore, that's the point where the devil gives up on your matter. Who want to break that seed? Who cannot get cooked anymore? Hallelujah. You put it in over hot water. As it just drops in that water, you know that it's not going to get soft again. It's something that gets soft that even a newborn baby can mess it up. But if you put it in too much hot water, it, that's the end of it. It gets hard. It's, it cannot be messed again. There is a level, when you get to the place of loving God, the devil cannot deal with you. When they get to that point and say, this is what anyone will do, they will still serve God. The reason why people are in church today, they are not tomorrow, because the devil knows, if I give you some headache in the morning, ah, my head is okay, I'm not the only one to go to church now. You sleep in the night, your stomach, so, so my stomach should not go around in the church room. Let me just stay in the house and watch. The devil is pulling you out. But when you get to say, Satan, even, even if I will purge on the road, that's your business. I am going. To, they give up on your matter. You don't, you don't get to, you don't, Papa doesn't speak over your case. Before you get there, the matter gives up on you. Am I communicating here? There is a stage that we must enter. If you must get to a place where your story is unbearable, when the devil looks at you, he said, this one, they are past the level of playing with them. When you get to the point, anything they do doesn't temper with you. Job 13, 15. Job said, even though you slay me, yet... <laughs> I am looking for a Christian that we get to that place. When all that the enemy is doing, say, if you want to do whatever you're doing, do it. Get to a point where your shoe, your leg will not enter your shoe. Say, if you empty leg, I will go to church. When you were going to work on Monday, they didn't stop you. You went to work on Tuesday, they didn't stop you. You went there up to Friday, they didn't, in fact, they called you for overtime on Saturday. Sunday morning, when you want to come to church now, oh, I put my leg down, my leg will not stand. Tell the leg, when you are ready, meet me in church, because I'm going without the leg. Am I talking to somebody here? That is the stage where you get to the place of love. When you love God, the devil cannot stop you. When you are a God lover, you cannot be hindered. I came to speak into your life. You are moving from glory to glory. I say you are moving from glory to glory. I say you are moving from glory to glory. I say you are moving from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. Please don't mind me. I, 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 I get local because I didn't grow up in the parlor. I was born in the back side of life and God put me to the front. Am I talking to somebody here? So when I go local, it's because I am a man from the local place. Am I communicating? Hallelujah. God is with us. In Daniel chapter 3, the three Hebrew boys from verse 16, they said, oh king. He said, we are not careful about this matter. Now they reported them. They said, these ones have refused to serve you. He said, give them a dead warning. He said, king, whether you want to kill us, kill us. We are not careful. We are not telling you, oh, we are sorry. We are serving our God. We are bowing to no other God. Hear me, child of God. If you, if you don't bow, you can't burn. They said, we will not bow. 
And the king said, so be. And they threw them into the fire. And the fourth man appeared. Many of us don't have encounter because we have not proven the worthiness. It is love that gives birth to an encounter. It is not faith. Faith is elementary. Everybody, even the ones who are, people are doing all kinds of nonsense, they are still professing God. All believers are talking, oh, bless you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Everywhere you go to. They are talking about the God they don't know. In every form of life, yet they are still confessing and professing God. Can you sacrifice for this God? Can you serve him in spirit and in truth? Can you give up anything for him? Hallelujah. He said, even though he slays me, yet will I serve him. The Hebrew boy said, kill us, no problem. He said, our God is able to deliver. That is hope. He said, even though he doesn't deliver us, we are ready to die for him. That is love. That is love. So faith must get to a place of love. Loving God. That everything we do, we do it on the basis of love. We do it on the basis of loving God. Sacrificing to him from the heart of love. Hallelujah. We must grow past that element. If you don't pass that stage, you can't grow as a believer. I pray that as your faith grows, may your life move forward. As your faith grows, may your life move forward. In the name of Jesus. The fourth one and then we pray. Thank you, my father. Thank you, king of glory. Number four. They had confidence in God. Hallelujah. They had what? Confidence in God. They had confidence in God. Thank you, Jesus. They had confidence in God. They had confidence in God. There is a level you get to that no matter what is happening, it doesn't mean anything to you. They had confidence. In order to have breakthroughs, dimensions in God, you must get to a point where you, it is faith that builds you. As you keep receiving the word of God, it's molding you. It's building your courage. It's building your confidence. It gets to a place where you, have, you are speaking with audacious audacity. You know that it will definitely come to pass. Elijah stood and said, he said, there shall not be rain or dew except by my word. He said, if I don't say it, nobody can change it. Hallelujah. There are people who think they have faith, but they never act when it has to do with God. Let them forget it. They are still in the elementary level. The Bible said there were 7,000 prophets that are not bad to, they didn't bow their knees to bow. None of them confronted bow. Why? They were afraid they were going to die. When it gets to the point that you see confidence, audacity in a man coming out, say, I die, I die, I perish, I perish. Confidence. You know that God will definitely show up. Am I communicating? Confidence. They had confidence in God. The Bible makes us to understand, after David was anointed, in the next chapter, the father sent him to go check the brothers. Listen, when God is doing things, God checks every man he leaves. God begins to check your life. There are values that God values in us. There are things that must be present for your elevation in life. There are things that God looks into. You may have a weakness, but don't be a wicked person. Wicked, weakness is permitted. Wickedness is not. Can I say it again? Weakness can be permitted because God knows weakness is a, is a product of childishness. When you grow, there are things. Nobody will dress when I go and sit on the mud. But these children, no matter how you dress them, they will roll here. God knows it's a product of, he knows someday you will grow out of it. But when you are wicked, you can never be in the list of the people God wants to lift. Am I talking to somebody here? Confidence. David grew. The father sent him. He said, go, go give food to your brothers who are at the war front. David went to 1 Samuel chapter 17. He looked at what was going on. He said, what is going on here? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Listen, for a 17-year-old boy to talk to a giant, it is confidence. It is not faith level. Please stay here. It is not faith level. It is confidence. He was confident about his God. He said, the God I serve. He said, when I kept my father's flock, the lion came, I toyed with my hand. The bear came, I toyed with my hand. He said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? He said, the God who delivered me from the lion and the bear is well able to deliver me from this one. Am I talking to somebody here? He was confident. You need confidence as a child of God. Even in your prayer life, if you pray, you don't have confidence, child of God. 
We live in a world that confident, they confident rule. Why they fearful as slaves? In this world, they confident rule. Even the ones who don't know what they are saying. The fact that they say confidently, it makes them rule. Hallelujah. They confident rule. They fearful as slaves. Fear has no place in the child of God. The reason you go to numerous wars is so that God can remove fear from you. Am I talking? The reason why you are sleeping, you're hearing things that scratching your wall is so that fear can die in your life. The reason why you are sleeping and birds are singing is because fear should die from your life. When people are telling you, say, is that it? Forget that one. I was in Asia. When we say out, we'll be singing from, they started late at night. We will pray, when we pray, pray, pray. As we come out from there, they will, some days we'll pray until when we're going to sleep, they stop. It got to a time where before you enter the house, 4.30 p.m., they're already making noise. Ow. Sometimes no one. Sometimes they are singing as though they are next to the window. I had to go through my window because the way they build those apartments, I chose the ground floor. I didn't want to go up. I had to go through my window. I went to anoint the tree they were coming to. <laughs> I went through my window. I anointed the tree. I said, when this thing come here, let on the blast. It didn't come for three days after that, it came again. Listen, when God is lifting you, there is something it will carry. He said, when thou passest through the waters, when thou passest through the fire, listen, child of God, there will be a passing through. But there is a guarantee that it cannot overflow you. There is a guarantee that it cannot burn you. There is a guarantee that what took others cannot take you. I come here confidently. That man or woman that has said you will not become what God says, I said they perish today. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 3 verse 14. He said for we are made partakers of Christ. If we hold. If we hold the confidence. We are made what? Partakers with Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence. Steadfast unto the end. What have you said about this God? Can you hold it to the end? Can you hold it to the end? Hallelujah. We are made partakers of Christ. Uh, what is that saying? You can do what Christ did if you can hold that confidence to the end. We are made partakers. We are co-heirs with Jesus. The only way you enjoy what he enjoys is we, if we can hold that confidence to the end. Hold your confidence. Confidence. Somebody say confidence. Say confidence. First John chapter 5 and verse 14. He said, Ashana Makadaba. He said, and this is the confidence that we have. In him, that when we pray, he hears us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This and this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Am I communicating here? This is the confidence we have. Confidence is needed. You cannot, even prayer, don't get answers without confidence. Somebody will die for your sake. Somebody will perish for your sake. Anyone that is not there to help you grow. Any situation that is not there to be a support to your life. Either to make you pass through an experience that will help you in your future. I decree that God will approve them by fire. In the name of Jesus. Hebrews 10, 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Do not drop your confidence, child of God. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Hebrews 10, 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Confidence reward. Hallelujah. Cast not away your confidence. There are rewards for your confidence. Am I speaking to us? Confidence occupies an unparalleled position. A man's quest for greatness. If you attain or achieve anything in life, confidence. Hallelujah. Confidence. The world understands and respects confidence. Without confidence, nobody cares about you. Confidence. Hallelujah. Confidence. Child of God, I don't know what you do. You must build confidence as a child of God. Build confidence. Hallelujah. God is lifting people here. God is lifting people here. I don't know if you are the person. God is lifting people here. I say, after now, you will face your fears. You will challenge your challenges. You will approve those that stood against you. In the name of Jesus. In Proverbs 28 verse 1. 
The Bible said the wicked flee when no man pursued after him. He said, but the righteous is bold. The righteous is bold. The righteous is bold. The righteous is bold. The, the righteous is bold. The righteous is bold. Hallelujah. We started with the faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word. Hallelujah. As you hear the word of God, you grow from faith to hope to love. And you can't get there without confidence. As you approach it, there is this confidence that we have in hitting vessel. Konamasha. I want to pray for somebody here. I said, after now, you will not be afraid. You will not run away from trouble. You will face your confrontation. You will confront your confrontation. You will tear down the altars that stopped others. In your family, they shall see you as a God. In the name of Jesus. Gideon was later called Jerubah. Jerubah means the, the one that brought down God. So Gideon rose from being a man that was afraid, hiding and eating, to not just destroy his enemies, he destroyed the enemies and destroyed their gods. I don't know the altar that was prepared that has stopped others in your family. After now, I see God using you to tear down that altar. I say, I see God using you to tear down that altar. In the name of Jesus. Stand up and stretch your hand. Let me release some missiles. I am hearing God giving me directions here. God will use your face to fight the people that they used to fight you. Oh, somebody did not hear. There is somebody here. They use native doctors to attack your life, attack your investment. They try to put you on one spot. They try to spoil things around your life. God said he will use you to appear in that coven. And you will shatter that place by fire. I said you will shatter that place by fire. I stand there upon the watch of God's word. As your hands are stretched towards me, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, I pass through you to enter your family. I pass through you to enter your generation. I decree obstacles will be pulled down. Obstacles will be pulled down. Mountains will be brought low. Families will be exalted. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody ready to pray? Say, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray, every obstacle to my rest, I lay you to rest. I lay you to rest. I lay you to rest. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, every obstacle to my rest, I lay you to rest. Clap your hands and pray. Sukadogot, 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to take another prayer. You say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I have heard your word. I have heard, heard your word. word. I believe your word. I believe your word. As you help this man you spoke about. As us. you help this man you spoke about. Lord, help me to stand out. Lord, help me to stand out. I am ready. I am ready. Help me to stand out. Help me to stand Lift up your voice. Say, my father, my father. My, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I have heard your word. I heard your word. I believe your word. I believe your word. As you help this man. As you help this man. Help me. Help me. I am, I am ready. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. God is giving me an instruction to do something. There are people coming from certain families that you are seeing evil trending in the family. You are seeing the enemy constantly stopping men from rising. You see the enemy caging people in, in, in one place. You see beautiful ladies in family not get married. But you, yet you will see like 10 men dragging them for boys, girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend here and there. Nobody coming to marry. There is somebody who has said you can be beautiful, you can't settle. I want to pray for anyone that you, know, you have seen an evil in your family. And you want God to empower you to deal with that evil in your family. What I said, I prayed before God showed me. God is still telling me, he said, there are people that need to stand out. He said, because I will use a man. God will use a man. If you want to enter your family, he want to use you. So that in that family now, they will be asking that sister, that brother, are you sure she didn't join something in America? How come? The way they gather, they will, this one will say, ah, he was pressing me in the night. Too. This other one say, hey, it happened to you. My own, it was in the daytime. If your family, you have seen evil, come. You see a trend of evil. And you say, you are angry about it. You say, Lord, raise me to fight this evil in my family. Lord, raise me. Lord, raise me. There is something that will come upon you. It's called the Holy Ghost. When the power of the Holy Ghost comes upon a life, you do extraordinary things. The Bible says, a spiritual man is mad. Say, the prophet is a fool. When you will sit in the road, not seeing anybody, you call their names. He said, you that came to the night, you came last night. As I'm, as, I'm call, as I'm calling your name now, I knock your head. I knock your head. As you are doing in my grain, instantly, in the, in fact, they will go mad. Lift up your hand and strike them towards me. Father, over this life here, I pray for your sons and your daughters. There is a trend of wickedness in their family. The Bible said he used this man to stop the mouth of the lion. God will use you to stop the mouth of that lion. God will use you to tear down that kingdom. That coven that gathered against your mother's children. Against your father's children. 
I decree that God will raise you. God is raising you now. God is raising you now. Beginning tonight, they shall be tormented. You will torment your tormentors. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I want to put a weapon in your hand. Take it. I'll put a weapon in your hand. I did something a couple of years ago. A woman said, if you sleep in the day, somebody comes to sleep in the night. Even in the day. She said, every time of the day. So even in the day, I said, let me take a nap. I see a man, a man walking. I can't move my body. I can't do anything. I prayed for her. I said, I put a weapon in your hands. And she came back the next Sunday. She said, you don't know what happened. I left here that Sunday as usual. The man was strolling in. He said, I was still down there, I was asking, this prayer pastor pray, you know, go walk. You know, go walk. You know, go walk. He said, after the man already undressed, he said, when I looked to my right, I saw a shovel in my hand. He said, the way I beat the head, he said, I don't know how many, si how many pieces I cut off that head. God will put weapons in your hand. God will put weapons in your hand. You shall kill the killer. By this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. Amen. By this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. Amen. By this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. Amen. By this, put the hands together, man. I decree you become the terror of your family. Amen. By this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. Oh, By this oil, those who want your life, God will take their lives. In the name of Jesus. By this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. In the name of Jesus. By this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. In the name of Jesus. By this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. By this oil, you become the terror of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, shadabaladabaladash. Please, I stay on the path. Uh, by this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. By this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. By this oil, I decree you become the terror of your family. By this oil, you become the terror of your family. In the name of Jesus. By this oil, you become the terror of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree God will use you to fight your enemies. In the name of Jesus, I decree God will use you to fight your enemies. In the name of Jesus, God will use you to destroy the destroyers. In the name of Jesus, God will use you to destroy the destroyers. In the name of Jesus, God will use you to destroy the destroyers. In the name of Jesus, God will use you to destroy the destroyers. In the name of Jesus, God will use you to destroy the destroyers. In the name of Jesus, God will use you to destroy the destroyers. In the name of Jesus, God will use you to destroy the destroyers. In the name of Jesus, God will use you to destroy the destroyers. In the name of Jesus, put the hands together. God will use you to destroy the destroyers. Oh, the God Oh, the God God will use you to destroy the destroyers. Oh, the God of Bragadash, Ah, Canada Badash, Lim Bragadas Abayadabash, In Tanamaka Dayada Balata, Oh, the Debra, stand there, wait, 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 Ayada Balada, Ada Balada, Ada Balada, Ayada Balada, Oh, the God of Bragadabra Bragadash, Ata Yada Balada Badash, Oh, the God of Bragadabra, Ada Balada Balash, The God of Bragadash, wait, don't go, stay there. Shaka Palata, Ikada Bella Dagalash, O Dagab Gada Baladash, O Dagada Bragada Bragadash, Isagada Bragada Bragadash, O Bragada Bragadash, O Dagada Bragada Bragadash, Shaka Payana Manaka Bayada. The people are such a state. Lift up your hands. Who's that? Have you received the Holy Ghost? Have you received the Holy Ghost? Do you pray in the Holy Ghost? Fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit. Fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit. Power! Spirit of the living God. Usher him into a new dimension. Usher him into a new dimension. Fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost. 
now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. There's somebody they are monitoring you and you know. They are watching you like every day. They are watching you through evil means. And you know they are monitoring you. What is the person? Most things you want, your things fail. Things are failing. Things are failing because they are watching you. Is it you, sir? Come, come and stand there. Hear me. The Lord is speaking. You are a vessel in your family. Are you aware? Nobody told you. Hold God. Hold God. Hold God. Hold God. The benefit of your serving God is not just for you, for your family. They are holding people down, tying people down. They are fighting progress. But you hold God. Through you, let the rest run to God. Are you hearing me? Hold God. Be prayerful. I was, uh, I was praying. I saw you standing in front. God wants to use you to enter your family. To settle problems. I know you have been through your own. But because God wants to use you. That's why he's telling me to tell you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure? Father, use us. Spirit of the living God. Let me see you. Spirit of the living God. Have your way. 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 Jesus. Thank you, my father. Daughter. See? Are you not tired? Huh? Are you not tired? Are you not tired? See, you do. we can't fit in nightclub like again. We cannot fit in now because we have an idea of where we are going, where God wants us to be. It's not everywhere you should be. You hear me? There is a call to serve God. Every other thing will come. Say, seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, and everything shall come. God wants to restore you. Are you going to are you in the foundation class? Why? Huh? God fight for you. Defend you. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Shatata. Saka de Bragash. Dugu Dugu. Gede Gabadash. Kedabaradabash. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name. Someone will go blind. Those that are monitoring you, sir, they will go blind. They will go blind. They will go blind. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. I decree from today by this oil. They will not see you anymore. I hide you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Father. Can we be on our feet? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. The Lord is touching you. Any part of your body where you are sick, lay your hand. There is an anointing for healing. There is anointing for healing in this house. Father, touch everyone here. Touch everyone here. Anyone with affliction. Anyone with affliction. Listen, I don't know why someone with migraine, this migraine is not just ordinary sickness. It's something, somebody is knocking your head. But hear me. It is lifted by fire. On and off migraine, migraine, migraine. It's not your name now. The person here. Come. We will 
knock their head. Anyone knocking your head, I knock their head. Anyone knocking your head, I knock their head. Anyone knocking your head, I knock their head. In the name of Jesus. Every day they will receive knocks. In the morning, three knocks. In the afternoon, three knocks. In the evening, three knocks. At night, three knocks. In the name of Jesus. And I decree that their hand upon your life is lifted. That which they did, we undo it. That which they did, we undo it. In the mighty name of Jesus. That there are people that the enemy is fighting your finances. I decree that it's loose right now. For everyone, the devil has put their hands on your wealth, on your income. I decree it is loose. Amen. Receive breakthroughs on every side. What has been failing will begin to work today. Where you put your hand and it did not work, I decree God is making you an exception. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is no beginning of faith without accepting Christ. If you are here, you have not prayed the prayer of salvation, you will take this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today as I am. Have mercy on me. Forgive my sins. Be my Lord and my Savior. Erase my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I am born again. Help me to serve you in spirit and in truth. Help me to grow. Help me to grow. Help me to grow. In Jesus' name. I decree that you are born again. You are saved in the name of Jesus. From today, heaven will defend you. As you have declared his lordship over your life, I decree that God will keep you. God will protect you. I decree that whatever you have lost, let there be restoration. There are people the enemy has stolen from you, stolen destiny. May you recover all in the name of Jesus. Recover all in the name of Jesus. I speak grace over your life. I decree you are not going down, forward ever, backward never. As you continue to stabilize yourself in the house of God, I decree whatever has been a problem before now, God will give you speedy answers. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says, I should pray for speed. There are people, there are things around your life that have been on hold. The Lord give you speed. This year, may you hear back. Let there be response. Let there be response. Let there be response. I decree in the name of Jesus. Let work permits be released in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, let green cards be released. In the mighty name of Jesus, let citizenship be released. Whatever they said you are not qualified for, I release it to you. Receive your next level. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, King of Glory. There's someone, your stomach is in disorder because you saw food in the dream. Stomach movement and all of that. I decree you are healed. You are healed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, I am that I am. From today, I mark you. I mark you. He said, let no man trouble me for I bear my body the marks. I mark you for protection. I mark you for preservation. I mark you for protection. I mark you for preservation. Amen. Accident will not see you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Place your right hand on your head. Say, my head is a good head. My, head is my head. life is a good one. Mm -hmm. Angels shall fight for me. Yes, Greatness is on my side. Mm -hmm. Goodness shall follow me. Mm -hmm. No matter what the matter is, mm -hmm. I will matter where it matters the most. Mm -hmm. Intimate